Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and we are gonna play as... And again, I'm, I'm really sort of enjoying our streak of going through some of the vanilla characters at the minute because there's just a lot to unlock for us. I know uh, some people really want to see modded stuff, but I think it's a good time to get through a lot of these. Um, so let's go for Bethany, shall we? And we'll try and do maybe Dark Path or the Beast. Let's have a little see. Uh, but... We have um, some update here. Uh, this is because, as you'll see, this is... Um, I don't actually know what, what this is an update for. Oh, Ret Retribution V2, the Repentance update. One second, let me, go, let me go check this. I didn't see that that got updated. And this might not be a new update. This might just be a, a new prompt for an update. But I will say that um, Improved and Reworked Furs, uh, which is an amazing mod that reworks a lot of bosses and enemies, Got a massive, massive update recently. So that's definitely one of the reasons that this has popped up. Retribution did get an update recently, but um, this is just the basic one. I don't think this is any anything new to us. Um, we'll close that out. But yeah, uh, there's a, a massive new update to improved and reworked furs. Um, it's kind of rough. If we have a key, we can come back in here. And it's definitely going to be worth it to do so. Um... Yeah, it, there's a, a, a few new bosses reworked, a few new enemies reworked, a few things that have been re-reworked, and then a bunch of fixes and balance changes as well. Tons of really good stuff. And it's honestly, it's one of my favourite mods in the entire game. I feel like anyone that plays this game, even if it's your first time ever playing this game, you've never touched it before, I think that reworked foes and enemies is a mod that you should get right off the bat. Because it makes... It, it makes the game a little more difficult, yeah, but overall it makes the game, um, it, it makes the game a more unique experience because more, and it basically, it takes a bunch of enemies that are just copies of one another and makes them unique, but it also takes a bunch of BS and, and certain bosses being really frustrating and removes that frustration and rebalances them to be a lot more fun. And I think even though it adds some difficulty as a new player, 100%. I would, uh, I would love to see that, and I'll, I'll work the question of the day into that as well. What's uh, of the of the bosses that it hasn't reworked that you have that you've seen yet? What's something that you'd want to see reworked in Isaac? Um, I think honestly they've covered most of the ones I'd want to see reworked. Um, I would, I, what I'd like, I would like to see, and this is only sort of a minor request, and it's not really the same sort of mod. I would like to see a mod that makes some of the earlier game bosses like. I wouldn't say harder, just a little more unique. I think the difficulty levels on most of them are okay. Some of them, like Monster and Larry, are a little bit easy. Of course, I don't want things to be too hard. I don't want it to be the same level as Fiend Folio bosses. God damn, that's too difficult. Um, but it would be nice to see some new unique attacks or just some new unique things added to those. Really bad hit there. It is what it is. Um, hmm. Do we have any fires back over there? I've got a bit of an idea. You know what? I realise that I've taken a lot of damage here and I don't want to die, but I've got a little bit of an idea here. Um, so I think let's take that. Good, good. We do have some fires. Nice. Um, and then I want to go boom, 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 and boom. Get some money. Hey, we got another heart there. We can do that a little bit more. I never really abuse uh, Piggy Bank for money. But I'm mainly doing this because we have a lot of hearts lying around. And then our cash room also had quite a few as well. Uh, so let's let's quickly check out to see what our shop's actually got. See if there's anything got worthwhile. See if there's anything that takes our fancy. I mean, uh, Quake Oats is an active. So that'll go along nicely with our um, other actives. I like that. Uh, I don't know if it'll have a unique sprite. Um, it is a modded item, so you never really know. But it might. It'd be pretty cool if it did. Um, I don't think the toy box collection is one of the ones that does, but still. And then we'll come and open this, and then we'll crack this open. And then we get all of these. I mean, come out. And there you go, you see what I mean? I'm, I'm, I've just managed to gain quite a lot of extra benefit out of playing Piggy Bank to its ma maximum benefit, which I really don't often do. I mean, to be fair, you don't often get the opportunity, but still, it's something that I should probably look at doing a little more often. Um, and I, I yeah, I really, really don't. But anyways, let's go down to the next floor. 
feeling pretty good about this run thus far. Getting an active on the first floor, and it's an aggressive active too. Uh, I can't remember exactly how this book works. Rains rocks from the sky while held. Uh, rains rocks in combat. Rocks have your tier effects. Yeah, so we don't actually need to use it actively to do anything. Okay, we do just get regular wisps. I thought we would. But if we use its active ability, we get a little bit of extra rocks falling. But it will just make rocks fall by default. And the rocks, as it said, do gain our tier effects, which means that things like Herming go real nice with this. Now, unfortunately, we don't have any mapping this floor, which you all know I hate. Uh, the rocks, unfortunately, do not aim. Though they're not going to fall on um, on enemies specifically or anything, but they do a good bit of damage. And they're, they're going to hit on occasion, so not bad at all. Not bad at all. This out real quick. Nothing there. Secret room is probably here. Uh, let me check. It could be up from us as well. Okay, I'm glad I checked. I think it's probably here. There you go. Good, 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 good. Nice A, and there's our key as well. Lovely to see. If we get to our boss first, we'll try and do our boss early. Um, do you know what? To make shop a little more worthwhile, let's um, bomb this guy and get the extra money. Ooh, baby. I'm so hurt. How could you? But yeah, I'm just going to be using my active pretty much every time I've got it to gain wisps. But it's actually quite nice that we get a regular wisp because... It's only a three-room charge rather than a four-room charge. We're actually saving a little bit here. Now, this guy, this guy is a particularly hard variant. I think he drops infestation if he if he drops an item rather than um, Yum Heart. We'll see if that's the case. Well, infestation isn't great, but there you go. It does go well with our piggy bank at least. Um, it's something. It's something. Right. We got hearts on the floor, so we should take advantage once we've beaten our boss, because we want to try and get our angel deal here, of course. Um, go quickly through here and grab this. Mum's perfume, I'm really happy with that. Mum's perfume is great, because it ignores tear cap. And fear shop, it is it is what it is, but the fact that it ignores um, tear cap is super, super nice. I did manage to shoot out his uh, his tail there. Not a big fan of that. Soul Heart. I don't know if using our active two times would do anything. Ooh, these guys have had a little bit of a resprite. The big spiders. They've got a bit more of a dumpy on them now. I kind of like it. These spiders do be rather thick. They do be rather thick. I don't know what's resprited them, actually. I'm not sure. Because I, I haven't changed my resprite mod, and my resprite mod does not update it. So maybe it's something in reworked furs. Maybe there's been some change to how uh, large spiders function. I'm unsure. Shot speed increase. It's not great, but for a random room reward, I certainly won't say no. Don't know why I'm saving up my active charge at the minute. I just want to see if activating it twice on a boss does much for us. I don't think having a soul heart to actually do that, though. Yeah, but I, I love the fact that it's an active that has a passive effect. Also, as you can see here, it destroys rocks on occasion as well. And they've got... Our rocks have fear shot on, uh, on occasion too. It's, it's nice stuff. It's nice stuff. Right. Let's try and not get hit here. We do have a bomb available if we want to use it. Um, we'll try to. Having fear on her isn't particularly great, I don't think. I don't think it's going to matter too much. There you go. Nice and easy. We did get our angel deal. Booster pack. Potentially good, but normally not. Hey, we got a giga card. Spawn void blood machine. Yep, let's go with that. Double golden penny. Hell yes. Strength. Five rotten hearts. Ooh. And then this is six random cards at once. We'll definitely use that later because that could give teleport cards and all sorts of nonsense. But I'm certainly going to use it because it's... The whale card is just a lot of fun. Unfortunately, one of our uh, coins here didn't go the distance, but there you go. We've got some good money. Plus one life, revive with four hearts. On revival, if um, you've taken any devil deals, spawn a hostile angel. Um, if you've never taken a devil deal, instead spawns an item from the angel pool on revival. So this is pretty obvious what we've got to do here. Um, we just got to commit suicide because we'll get money off of it. 
And, uh, oh wait, we don't want to kill ourselves in here because I think we'll respawn us outside of the room. So, get ourselves to low health and then leave here. Yeah, because I think it'll respawn us in here. Sadly, we don't have a bomb for this. I guess I could use my active and hope that it activates the thing, but I'm not going to bother with that yet. Um, then let's go find somewhere to kill ourselves. This is a cellar floor, so fires aren't super likely. Poison does it, right? Yeah, poison does it good. Good, good. There you go. It's not amazing, but we got an eternal heart out of it. We're actually going to gain um, a heart out of all of this. Good, good. Um, and I'm going to save my whale card for the next floor just in case it hurts me on using it somehow. Right, next floor, I think. Yes, next floor. Am I, am I good to go? I'm good to go, right? Got good money. We're good to go. We're going to pop the whale card. It's going to do some scary stuff. Or some great stuff. We'll see. We got a bad trip out of it. A pretty fly. Bunch of pills. We got the knot here, which is rather nice. Oh, those guys no longer leave fires, apparently, anymore. Because those guys used to leave purple fires with the reworked furs mod. They've been re-reworked to no longer leave purple fires. Which, honestly, I am so happy for. Because the purple fires those guys left were absolute pains in the arse. They, they were so problematic. So, it's nice to see those gone. It was an interesting change, but certainly one that caused some issues. But yeah, not is a really, really good item for us here. Um, it allows us to actually collect pickups from other gaps as well, which is rather nice. I like the fact that our angel baby stayed with us here. I wasn't expecting them to travel to the next floor with us, but certainly appreciative of it because we are killing stuff rather quickly right now. Check out our shop because we have so much money. Um, not particularly good, really. My, fi my fly just went into the... My little baby just went straight into there. But a golden heart is decent enough. Good. By the way, someone told me that the reason I keep getting the Steven floor is because I have the command turned on permanently. Um, that's a tears up, I'll take that. Um, the, the command... So, I got given the command for how to permanently spawn it by someone. Um... And I'm just going to ask the developer real quick, one sec. Yeah, okay, I've just messaged the developer just to make sure, like, how I can turn that off correctly. Because someone did mention that they think that the reason I'm getting the Steven floor all the time is because I actually have the command permanently turned on. So I want to just check if that's the true, uh, like, that's that's exactly what it is or not. Because it makes sense because I have been getting it a lot. Um, What is this, need? For the next 10 seconds, oh, yes, please. We are in money heaven right now. So much coinage. So much coinage. We'll blap those two. We'll pop this. So much coinage, baby. And the enemy is stunned as well. Our little baby is firing at rapid speeds. Gotta love it. Yeah, I guess we just spent all of our money. We've got all of it back already. And, and then some. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. So yeah, shops are going to be valuable for us as long as we don't get the good old greed boss fight, which I'm sure we will at least once or twice. Not bad. Even more money. Holy damn. This is a little crazy. As I said, I'm just going to use my active pretty much all the time to get more wisps. Oh, damn, what is... Do these... These guys can't hurt me, right? Okay, good. That was slightly confusing. Kind of an interesting concept for a room, but visually it was rather overwhelming, I've got to say. Good, good. For some reason, some of my, um, some of my cards aren't, don't have EID descriptions. Don't think that's going to be super useful, but I'll keep it at hand just in case. But I doubt it's going to be some, something that makes a difference for us, really. Right, another fight over here. 
So I didn't get the Steven room this floor, but next floor, if I get it again next floor, then it probably is the case that the, um, the command is still enabled. If not, it might just be the case that I was getting lucky. Simply might just be the case I was getting lucky. You never know, really, but we'll obviously find out when we try it. I think so far this run, we've got some really nice stuff going on. Nothing crazy. One thing I need to remember is to actually utilize divine intervention. We kind of learned in a previous episode that it's it's kind of amazing at like pushing enemies back into walls and dealing some good damage. So I want to be using it whenever I can. Like, obviously an enemy that flies isn't going to take any extra damage. But just generally, it's, it's really good for just um, keeping enemies away. I managed to blap that guy's explosion into the horse head there. Do you see that? He threw an explosive and I managed to throw it right into the head. Now, this is tempting because it's going to be an active that I actually quite like. Um, wisps charge in the direction that Isaac fires. Like, pretty good active that has its own wisps, but at the same time, maybe not the best idea. Hmm... Sin robes taking us over to the devil deal side. I'm surprised to get a devil deal here, I'll be honest. I think... I think I'm going to leave it because the black hearts don't mean anything to us, so I'm going to leave that as it is. And unfortunately, Pony, I like you. I like the flight you grant, but I'm really, really liking the active we have right now, and I think I'm going to stick with it. And yeah, we're on the flooded caves now, so let's see if we find the Steven floor once again. I won't complain if it shows up again this floor because... I'll just take it as it is, but for the future, it's something that we'll probably need to tweak slash change around. Aha, that guy tried to jump at me and I was like, hell no. No jumping at me for you, good sir. Alright, we've got to deal with the, uh, the bloody little skitty motherfucker and his little brain. There it is. Okay, that didn't go all too bad. It's sad to see that over there. One thing that's really interesting about more options, by the way, is I don't really actually care about it giving me additional choice of consumables. The, the real big thing I care about... Dude. Dude. That was fucking evil. The curse. So my active destroyed a rock and the curse replaced it with a goddamn spiked rock that I accidentally walked into and lost my devil. So yeah, there's the Steven floor again. So it definitely seems to be that way. Um... But yeah, one thing I really like is the, the, the secondary thing that can appear is like, I don't know if it has like a higher chance of being something different, but you see what I mean? How it's like a soul heart or a card. It's like not just bombs and keys, dude. We have so many on damage effects right now. This is kind of getting ridiculous. Uh, infestation, spider baby, and um, piggy bank. We're really collecting them all, aren't we? We're really collecting them all. Secret room as well, baby. Soul heart doesn't matter all that much. I guess I should grab these, because why not? Or, uh, I guess not. I This curse is savage. It's so... Like, you always forget that it exists, and it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Especially... Especially that it can generate spiked rocks at such a high rate. Like, it's not even, like, a low chance to give me a spike rock. It feels like it gives me so many goddamn spike rocks. Honestly, I probably should have taken that spike chest there, because that could have been a a good uh, way to get more on-damage effects, considering we're already moving that way. We might as well take even more. I'll take the chest. Now, this guy, I don't mind playing with this much money. I really should find my shop first and make sure that I uh, get some good stuff from my shop. But I can take this guy down to, there you go. We got the roll of film. Um, spawns fade Polaroid trinket, half a heart is now taken at below three hearts. Pretty good stuff. Um, and then we can play this guy down to like 30 and uh, potentially get a health upgrade. Or we can get that. Whatever, whatever, I guess. More rocks fallen, baby. And boss man time. Now we got double with this, and it's a double trouble one that I very much do not like. Hmm. 
You are done, sir. Good, good. Ah, bugger. I got hit. It's fine. There's a single dippy over here. Chippy little dippy. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Gives us the heart container at least. Oh my god, the knockback there was crazy. And then here we've got BFF, which I guess I'll take. Red heart, soul heart, card is free, double our money. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Might as well at least get a free activation out of this. Pretty beautiful. Okay, things are going remarkably well so far, I'd say. We've got quite a lot of health. Unfortunately, angel deals aren't coming our way as fast as I'd hope. I was kind of hoping to maybe clutch out a Mega Satan, but... Considering we've seen a devil deal and stuff, I'm not sure how val like how likely that actually is. Anyways, let's go to our Stephen floor. As I said, I think I'm wrongfully getting the Stephen floor here. I think it should be a lot rarer than it has been recently for me. But let's just call it an extended showcase, shall we? Let's just say that we're doing all this on purpose. Right, what you got to say to me? Can you read? Could I ask for a favor? I need you to do my taxes before Friday. In return, I'll show you a cool place. Here, I'll pay you up front. <laughs> okay, strange text that you get for Bethany. We'll see if we want to do any item trades on this floor. Guys doing the flip and flops. Some of the enemies down here are real hard, you know. Got him the... Uh, Increase the flat damage dealt um, by bombs by a hundred. Yeah, it's pretty damn good. I like that bomb token. I love how fat these boys are now. What a nice sprite change. Walk upgrade, lovely. Cracked infamy is not bad anymore. I, st I still, I'm not a, fat, a huge fan of it, but it at least doesn't screw up on bosses anymore. These enemies are real tr troublesome, so use them at active again. Also getting more wisps, I guess. Oh, I forgot about these shots that, like, reorganize themselves a few times and re-jigger. It's cool. We're all good. Open the chest up. Paralysis again. No, thank you. Oh, I see. I, I was very confused for a hot minute then, but it's literally just a simple room. Ah, I took the bomb back. And always open the chest rather than the bomb. You're so much more likely to get something good. Look at this craziness. I absolutely love these versions of these enemies. Well done on them. Really goddamn cool. We do have a 42% chance of angel deal here. If we can manage to stay, keep that chance alive. But I'll be honest. I'm not super confident in this floor that I can do that. I will try my goddamn best. But there is some stuff that I would consider out of my control. What do you want? You want my piggy bank? Honestly, at this point, I'm willing to give you that. I don't, I don't really need it anymore. And you gave me the glowing hourglass, which I think on this floor, I'm going to hold. And you want my roll of film? Honestly, I'll also give you that too. Roll of film's fine, but I'm not particularly enthused by it. That I am very enthused by. Holy goddamn. Okay. So this is kind of crazy. We need to decide what we want from here. There's just so much to go at. So much to go at. Goddamn. Um... Have a little look-see. Oh, where's our... Um... Some of the book, oh, some of the books in here are from another mod that I've disabled recently. Heck, I really like those. I mean, this thing is goddamn amazing. I absolutely love this active item. Um, so 
that would be fun to take. I really like the Hedonist Cookbook. There's some other really good stuff here as well. well there's, there's a passive item down here too that we could technically take. Let's see what all the quality 4 item books are first, and then we'll go from there. What does this do? Um, bombs enemies in the room, gives a bomb synergy, gives one bomb. Bombs enemies in the room. Six room charge. Got any book activate any book active used will now be buffed. Um, completing a challenge room will award a book. Hmm, kind of interesting, but not the best. Book of all books. Oh wait, no, that's the that's the one that we just looked at. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of tricky. I don't really know what I want to take, because this seems fun. Bombs enemies in the room gives a bomb synergy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this one out. Just because we've got this trinket that increases bomb damage, I'm sort of curious to see if it works alongside this. Pretty good. Pretty good, man. Pretty good, man. Secret room here. We've got the money, so let's just go for it. No, it's not there. Can't be down there. Could be here. There we go. Bethany versus Greed. Ain't no Greed in here. Um. Okay, so we can buy back the items we've traded away thus far. Do I even want to bother doing? I guess I'll buy back this. Oh, it made all these cheap as hell. Nice. Yeah, I guess I'll buy back everything then. Why not? Thank you, I guess. Oh, we got a rainbow champion here. This is where I'm likely to get hit. Gotta remember those burnies shoot at us as well. I always forget that. These little burn dudes here. You're gonna have to just basically stay up there and... Sort of chill out, my guy. We got him. We got him. Um, probably better to hold on to this. Annoying enemy. Still annoying. Why are you spawning spiders now? Another thing come to uh, take my uh, items. This is a stressful room. This is. I don't like the fact that this guy's a champion. I don't like the fact that he's not firing for some reason either. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I don't particularly like this item, so try it for something else. Pretty good. Lots of on-hit effects, as I said. Still going strong with the on-hit effects right now. Yeah, I like the fact that our bombs are so, like, prominent now with this book, because it gives a bomb synergy. Don't really know what these guys do when, when they change their face. Oh, my, I think also my book is producing um, special wisps that fire blue shots. Accidentally took the soul heart there, that's whatever. Push you into a wall, lovely. More bombs. Our bombs are dealing an additional 100 damage. I think that doubles their damage. They, they regularly do what exactly 100, right? So that doubles their damage. Oh, they regularly deal 50. I can't remember. I think it's 100, though. 
don't understand you. So I was going to say, I'm guessing you're going to shoot, but I'm not sure when. Oh, God. Okay, there's a lot going on here. They seem like very healthy enemies. Very, very healthy enemies. Wow. Got him in the end. Took a little bit of doing. Nice. Oh, you bastard. We got an eternal heart of it at least, but that goes like angel chance. I got stuck on the goddamn rock. I got hit twice by this guy anyways. It is what it is. I remember to come back for that. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. This synergy is insane. <laughs> I, I picked the right thing. And we got, we got little horn from the boss. I've never seen anything other than the normal item you get out of this guy. So it's weird to see anything else. Not going to complain, though. Not going to complain. See if there's anyone else that wants my items real quick. Like this little fella. What the hell are you? You want BFF? Uh, yeah, I'll give you a BFF. Okay. Bloody sharp plug. Come on now. Gotta be jerking me. Right. We are scappy. We are scappy. So Angel deals really aren't in the cards for us right now, but we have a pretty fun synergy on this run, I think. We have some interesting stuff going on. We've got really good health. We got a rainbow poop, which um, I think we should take full advantage of by hurting ourselves a ton. I don't know where we're going to do that right now. We'll find somewhere good. We have a lot of advantages from hurting ourselves right now, so I think it'll feel like hurting ourselves an absolute ton is going to be fun. Dude, that's such a good item, that. I love that. Not only does it give you a bomb synergy, not only does it give you plus one bombs, but also it bombs every enemy in the room that you use it in. Really, really cool. Kind of like a death card on a command, like Necronomicon effect style thing. But then on top of that, our trinket is making our bombs even better. I, I still am unsure... If our bombs from the item are being affected by that or not. Uh, no thanks. Yeah, I'm, I'm unsure if our, if our bombs from the book are being affected by that. But our regular bombs definitely are. And they're gaining more and more synergies the more times we use the book. So, at least in that way it's working for us. Get away from me, fool. Right, so... We do need a full, uh, a full card to get out of um, thingy if we want to take advantage of that uh, rainbow poop. Unless cash room doors, cash room doors don't uh, trigger thingy, do they? Hmm. One sec. Let me check something. Okay, they don't. Good. No eternal hearts yet, sadly. Good bit of ka-ching, ka there. Lots of spiders and flies as well. Lovely, lovely. Back we go. Might need to do two trips here, actually. Yeah, we're going to do two trips. A lot of health on the floor. See? Taking advantage of on-hit effects. I never normally min-max like this, but as a character that can't have soul hearts, it feels a little more worthwhile. Didn't mean to actually go in. I uh, did see there's an item in there that I might want, though. Um... Nice. <laughs> I 
Damn, only what for for a nine percent chance. It's kind of crazy that we only got one eternal heart out of all of that. We hit ourselves like twenty times. Still though, one eternal heart is decent. One is, I suppose, just as valuable as two. Good, good. Got that going. Hello, fella. Even more HP here. That's like four hearts in that thing, right? Ah, d damn it. I didn't mean to do that. My mistake. I didn't realize those two were connected to one another. My biggity bad. Don't think we can open the Mimic chest without it ruining my Angel chance. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm just going to take the uh, heart now, even though it's a little risky. Just because if I get hit, I'm losing my Angel chance anyways. So I'm going to be trying my hardest to not get hit. More bombs is the way to go right now. Photon, gotta love it. Good damage up, good tier it up. And a tier replacer with this rainbow laser. I love it. Really, really fun. A very, very fun rework of this item. I love it. Ooh, I'm really liking the fact that our thingies hit instantly. Our little horn shots just connect. Feels very satisfying. That's a great, great, great thing to get there. Um, and I guess we'll do that once. We got brimstone bombs here. Nice. Dude, our money it's out of control. I guess we should donate in that case. We've not we've we've been neglecting our donation machine for a while now. Wow. No, not much jamming for us today. That was a very good donate there. Like that a lot. Look at that! Just instantly hit some. I love it. Instantly hit by it, baby. And we got five luck as well, so they're coming out at a reasonable rate here. This room certainly uh, makes things a little harder. Okay, then. Even more bombs, baby. Even more bombs. Don't particularly like the look of this room. Managed to get through it, all right. Can't get the sack, sadly. Oh, no, I hit the sack. Nice. Dude, dude. Not only did I get hit and lose my eternal heart, of which I just got another, but I lost my angel deal chance as well. It's still on 40%, which isn't terrible. Dude, that was a really bad hit by me. But we've got another eternal heart. All those hits, and now it's like, here's the eternal hearts for you. And we're doing Dark Path here. Okay. No Angel deals. Not happening. Sadly, no Mega Satan for us today. Rocket in a jar, you say. Rocket in a jar. Definitely a little more damage. Our damage isn't amazing right now. Unfortunately, with that, with their Photon having no knockback, we can't push our bombs with our tears at all, which is certainly a shame. To be fair, with Rocket and a Jar, we can fire them at enemies, though, which is rather nice. But bombs as well, lovely. Good, good. Oh, I just got a smaller chest. I was like, what the hell did I get from that? Just a smaller chest. 
Just a smaller chest. That's okay. We can deal with that. So glad we got nine bolt as well. Makes this active even more busted. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this. Oh, that was close. More bombs. That's all I want, baby. That's all I want. More bombs. Do not like these enemies being attached here. Oh my god. That's kind of creepy. Another bomb synergy here. I'm stacking them up. Oh, we've got sad bombs now as well. I'm really appreciative of the fact that the bomb explosion that triggers... Oh, dude. I'm trapped here. I'm trapped. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm good. The bomb explosion that triggers from um, from this, like, using it in this room actually does apply the bomb effects that you have. I'm really getting pissed off with these Skolex things, by the way. I can't goddamn kill them. But yeah, actually, like, it gave us sad bombs, but it actually applied sad bombs to that hit as well. Not, It's not just applied to the next one. Nice. Good. Very nice. Oop, a key or a key? Brimstone bombs is on there as well. Lovely, lovely. Three and one there. Baby got everything. Damn, I, I, like, we keep using bombs, but our amount of bombs just keeps going up. <sighs> Pathetic on the angel deals today. I just keep getting hit. It's fine. It is what it is. Kind of part of pass and parcel of playing this character. This room is really laggy for some reason. Not quite sure as to why. Holy shit. <laughs> Welling sack as well. Oh, baby. We have the bomb synergies going off. They are on fleek. You've got new sprites, right? Oh, that's a new attack as well. Oh, okay, this enemy has been reworked. That's pretty cool. Demolished. Pretty cool. Oh my god, an angel deal. It happened. Got an eternal high out of that somehow. Right, to the next floor. See if we can get another angel deal back to back and then, then we're off to the races, baby. Scat bombs isn't the ideal one to get, I'll be honest, but hey her. Scat bombs just adds more danger to for us. Got a little godhead baby here, chilling along for the ride. Oh my god, the danger. How did this not blow up? Come on now. Okay, I'm not wanting to give us regular red hearts at all, is it? Yeah, thank you. Things are dying pretty quite quick, even to just our tears. You're just chilling up here. Oh, you've escaped. I don't want you to escape. Get away from me. I don't know you. 
Right, it's weird how this is like this one book has turned this this into a bomb run. Well, I mean the sin obviously the the trinket as well is a huge part of the synergy. Let me just check. Is this is this trinket from some? Uh, from, no, it's, it's. I thought this was a something wicked trinket. It's a Fiendfolio. It's a Fiendfolio trinket. The reason I thought it was something wicked is just something wicked does an absolutely amazing job of creating trinkets that are sometimes absolutely useless and sometimes great. And I feel like this is one of those trinkets where most of the time people aren't going to use this a ton because they don't have a ton of bombs and they don't want to use it for fighting. But if you have the, the the bombs to work it or you have bomb synergies, it's absolutely insane how good this is. Fast bombs, come on now. Gats to be joking me with that. That made me very happy to see that enemy immediately destroyed because that enemy is rather risky. Good, good, good. Oh, whoa, new sprite for Mum's heart. New attacks for Mum's heart. Whoa, what the hell? Okay, Mum has been significantly reworked. Let, let me let me go to the patch notes here because I did not see that that was a that was a thing that had happened. I want to read the patch notes on this. Let's have a little look, see. View. Um, your future past. It says reworks and additions. Your future past awaits. Chad has been reworked, the gate has been reworked, the husk has been reworked, Mama Gary has been reworked, Blast Assist is bigger form, and Drowned Charges. I don't know why this has been, unless this is the part of your past awaits. Let's go to the wiki. I'm really intrigued by this though, this is cool. I, I've, be, I've honestly been wanting a Mum's Heart rework for a long time, because Mum's Heart is really basic and annoying. Um, super. Right, I'm just going through them all now. Loki, Steven, Blighted Irvum, Mask of Infamy. It lives. Here we go. Complete rework. The boss is now split into two separate parts. The fetus, main part, that acts as its hitbox. Okay, we'll, we'll read this after we fight it because I'd rather not spoil myself. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight this kind of slowly here because I don't want to use bombs and ruin the fight. This is what I'm saying by everyone needs to like play this mod, regardless of if you've never played the game before. This is so much better of a boss fight. I I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of immunity phases, so this is a little long for immunity phase, but I'm still down to clown. Brimstone phase has been changed to be a lot harder, I like that. Got some bouncing shots. I like the bouncing shots have been introduced here. That's cool. Back over to this immunity phase again. We've got another eternal heart here. Love that. Accidentally whipped the eternal heart onto myself. Quite a long immunity phase. I'd maybe turn that down a little bit, but overall pretty cool. Really nice rework. I like that a lot. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go Dark Path here, remember? Uh, yeah, Dark Path. And let's let's actually re read through how that rework works, shall we? This boss is now split into two separate parts. The fetus, the main part that acts as its hitbox, no longer beat, um, beats like a heart. It now simply acts like a fetus hanging on a cord. On the gut, the top part um, that has its own attacks but cannot be damaged. Has two big tubes either size that is used to perform its attacks. Beside that, it looks like a hang hanging organs in vanilla. Spawns uh, with two homun homunculi attached to the top walls instead of two eyes. I love the fact there's no eyes anymore. That's great. Um, that's a, a beautiful, beautiful change. Um, and um, the fetus will always perform in the following. Uh, will perform the following in order: perform an attack from a group of projectile patterns that's similar to his vanilla attacks. So you will continuously shoot two rings of five shots. One will slowly rotate. Continually shoot four lines. Uh, continually shoot eight lines. And then summons two enemies from the guts. Interesting. Okay, this is a really... Like, there's so much on... Oh my god, there's like three pages on this rework. Holy shit. I'm not going to read all of this because it's crazy. Um, but there is a lot. 
I'm, I'm super, super happy to see this has been reworked. That is, that's a boss that I really thought was... Like, for, I, I'd say that the vanilla version of the bomb is pretty boring. Um, obviously, for me, I've played the game a ton of times. But I also think for new players, it's not a great boss either. The eyes, I think, are not... Uh, they're a weird and not great addition to the fight. And they make things hard for new players. Because uh, it's hard to dodge stuff that zaps you like that. Especially without the mod that shows you where the laser is going to be telegraphed. So... In that way, it doesn't work either. And then, yeah, like, I feel like a lot of the time, the, a big problem with the, the mum's heart fight is that, like, it's normally over before it can do any of its difficult attacks. And it seems like now it's, it's changed. So that's not quite the case. It's actually going to get out some interesting and hard attacks, regardless of how fast you're going to end up killing it. Good change. I love that. I love that. Really huge part of the update, of course. Um, and I am on board. Good. Here we're beelining it straight for the boss. Don't care about much else. If we could actually beeline it for the boss, that'd be nice. Oh, wait, what? We throw our bombs. Uh, uh, we, we have, um... We have a uh, bomb synergy that makes us throw our bombs now, which is actually preferable because we don't have bomb knockback, so... I can actually knock my bombs towards enemies without having to, like, shoot them like, like I normally would. And it seems that whenever I use that, it drops a bunch of bombs on the floor, too. Which is kind of interesting. Nice. Got you now as well. I hate the fact that he goes invincible straight away. Ah, I always get hit by that. Always get hit by that. And we do get an item from this. Unfortunately, not a great item. It's an active that I don't particularly want. Boom, bow. Oh, I'm loving these thrown bombs, baby. This is so goddamn satisfying. Throw a bomb over. Boom. Great damage. Pop bombs on top of all of this as well. Lovely. Pills. Oh, there's a pretty fly there. I'll at least take the pretty fly. Oh, we know these pills, apparently. Okay. Don't think we need anything else there, though. I love Bomber Boy with hot bombs. Dagger Boy coming my way. Ooh, this is potentially good here. Hey, Quince. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, just get fires everywhere like that, look. Beautiful. And in we go. And then we have bombs to throw as well. Oh, this worked out swimmingly. Dude, that bomb, like I guess that bomb just landed right on me. Just get his feet in here, we'll be fine. He keeps pushing my bombs away, you little... Oh, that's fun. That's fun. I like it. Urn of Souls unlocked. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Are any of these that we might want? I don't think so. Ah, oh, we don't have a throwing bombs anymore. I tried to throw a bomb there and it didn't work. My bad. Prayer card. Good for a use at least. Tricky room here. Tricky room. I like it though. 
Welting Sack is the next up. I think there was a red heart back there, so I'll go check that out. Give me the red heart. All good. Foul gut, probably not the best idea because that's all rotten hearts now, but that's a lot of flies per room, so I'm hoping it will pay its dividends. This is the boss. I'm actually going to try and get an active charge before we do our boss here. So it's another bomb synergy to gain. Go back and do one more room. Dude, I just hit myself straight away. Yeah, because now we can use this in the boss fight to deal some damage and we get an extra bomb synergy out of it, which could mean that we can do a lot more damage. So let's pop on over do our boss fight and it should go by pretty damn quick I think did we just get welting sack again <laughs> fuck's sake I also think our bomb damage has been negated because welting sack doesn't do regular bomb damage it is its own type of damage so our trinket doesn't even affect this oh maybe I'm wrong actually that was quite a lot of damage either way there you go nice and easy Hope you guys did enjoy that one. Really fun run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.